All right, E King Fight News back at it. Shout out the whole channel, all the subscribers, man. And we keep it moving, man. Okay, so Deontay Bronze Bomber Wilder versus Anthony Joshua, man. It's come to the point where, I mean, I told you guys, they're heading into that Russian direction right now. You know, they're heading into that Alexander Povetkin game. And it's a dangerous game to play. It is. Unless, unless they, they got some real strings going, going down, it's a, it's a real dangerous game to play. I mean, I'm sure Eddie Hearn was hoping and wishing David Price could, could bring back something and take out Pavekin. Uh, because he, I'm sure Eddie Hearn would, would have been livid for that moment. And, and that way he can match up David Price and Joshua and he could have a good old time. In the UK, you know, you can swing, you can sing "Sweet Caroline" and shit. And everything would be all cheery and shit, cause he's got both fighters. But guess what? AJ's got he's got two options right now. He's got he's got Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua's got a face. He's got a face. Alexander Povek in the mandatory, or Dillian White for undisputed. Now you mean to tell me? 50 million is not enough for Joshua to, to cross the pond. 50 million is not enough? Man, get this whole Anthony Joshua the fuck out of here, man. Get this. I mean, for him, for, for him as a fighter, coming over to the U.S., talking all that dirt, talking all greasy, how he's going to knock out Wilder in front of his family, and he doesn't have the balls to take 50 million over in the US. Not only that, but he got the offer and then all of a sudden he does a 180 says, you know what? It's only right that the first fight happens in the UK. And now shout out to Boxing News 24, shout out to that article. Um, Scott Guilfoyd, shout out to his article. And, and, and he made it very clear how can Joshua dictate terms when he's not putting up that money? When he, if he's putting up the bread, it's a different story. But guess what? He never put up that $50 million. That's not his money. That's why you heard Eddie Hearn talking about, oh, we need, we need proof of funds. We need to know where the money's coming from. Otherwise, I don't know if I'm breaking laws. Look like, the fuck? Get this, dude. Get this dude the fuck out of here, man. Eddie Hearn, do yourself a favor. You know, just just stay over in the UK if you feel that way, you know? Don't, don't even bother trying to take over the American market. That's just not going to work out for you, man. You don't have the balls to make the undisputed heavyweight championship matchup in the US. And you talking about you want to... Get the fuck out of here, man. Get Eddie Hearn's bitch ass the fuck out of here. I don't want. I don't want to see this guy in the U.S. Man, stick stick with Danny Jacobs. Hopefully that deal runs out and Danny Jacobs can move the fuck along. Cause we know he ain't signing no DAZN. We already know that shit. Like we already know that shit. Oh man, we're just getting started, man. You can't fight news, man. We're just getting started. So this is the article in question, and this is what they had to say. Boxing News 24, guys. Boxing News 24. The sticking point has been Joshua's reluctance to fight Wilder in the U.S. It's Wilder's team that's giving Joshua the $50 million guarantee for a fight, and yet he's still insisting the fight take place in the U.K. It's mind-boggling. You don't dictate terms when the money is coming from your opponent. I'm not sure that Joshua is aware of that. Yeah, I heard he was kind of slow, to be honest. I heard he was a little slow. Wilder said that since Joshua only wants to fight in the UK then he's gonna have to take a huge payday cut of 20 million from the 50 million offer that his team made to him of course Wilder doesn't speak for his management who might not want to give Joshua anything if he's gonna insist on a fight taking place in the UK so basically all that money he planned on putting up is now off the table it's been rejected by Eddie bitch ass Hearn. That's what happened. And y'all wanna fucking defend this shit. 
it's unbelievable. How, it's unbelievable how you guys can stay in, in that Joshua corner and defend him. This coward. This, 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 this boy. This fucking oversized, fucking muscle-bound, juice head motherfucker out here, man. I don't know. I don't know what more I could say. This dude's either ducking drug testing or he's ducking Wilder. Point blank period, that right hand. It's got him shook. So this is what Eddie Hearn had to say. They have our offer, so they have to accept it or move on. It's not a case of if you don't accept this offer, the fight is dead. Or we'll just fight Pavekin and carry on our negotiations to the next one. Hearn told Sky Sports. This is what I was afraid of. And this is the, the, the writer of this article, Scott Guilfoyd. Hearn's A-side mentality has finally gone to his head completely. He's now talking like he's in charge of the show when he's the one with the money. There's only one reason for this. Hearn has become spoiled completely. <laughs> Let's get it. For Hearn to, spe to be speaking in this way and saying his message to Wilder and his team, it can only mean one thing. They don't want the fight with Deontay. It sounds like Joshua and Hearn have made up their mind and they're, they're going to be fighting with Pavekin next. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. And it was really obvious that, you know what, that was their uh, whole plan all along. That was their whole plan all along, guys. I'm telling you. This was the plan from square one, from jump, was to fight Alexander Pavekin, not this man right here, Deontay Wilder. And I mean, end of the day, end of the day, it's at Hearn's downfall. I mean, for him to be a part of a historic event like Wilder Joshua, it would elevate himself as a promoter. But he doesn't want to do it. It's not in his character to be that great. It's not. It just isn't. And, and, and based on whatever improved offer he's got on the table, who knows if Wilder will take it. That's going to be up to him and his team. We don't know what it is. But at the end of the day, I've never heard of a promoter to leave at least $10 million on the table and not just fucking snatch that shit because it's in a bag waiting for him. I've never heard of a promoter to do anything like this. And that, that'll tell you that's, that's fear, guys. That's fear point blank pure. When you got 10 million on the table, you don't want to take it, that man is shook to bits. That man does not want no parts and no Deontay Wilder. I'm telling you that, guys, just, I mean, fuck, I've been watching this boxing shit for at least 15 years, guys. Dude want no smoke, man. You do want no smoke? That's just what it is. E-King Fight News. Let me know what you guys think. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. What more can I say? Dude's a duck, man. He's a phony. He's a pussy. The guy's trash. The boy can't even, can't even take the heat from a dude from Alabama that weighs 40 pounds less. All these guys are right hand. Hey y'all, y'all, y'all acting, y'all act like so afraid about this dude's man right hand. He's got one right hand. I I haven't seen a massive left hook out of Wilder. You could call him a one-handed puncher if you want to, or a one-handed fighter. But you ain't shit if you don't want to get in the ring with him. You ain't shit. All those fucking hand-me-down titles you got there, the fucking gifted title with the WBA. Fucking Joseph Parker vacated the WBO title. Who, sorry, he won a vacated WBO title. And then Joshua got it, off, got it up off Parker in a bullshit fight that a lot of people think Parker won. Not me. A lot of other people. That includes Jarrell Miller. That includes Deontay Wilder. That includes your boy Dwyer. You know, your boy Dwyer had fucking Parker winning. So get the fuck out of here, man. The dude's a duck. E King Fight News. Y'all know what it is.
you don't know, now you know.